<laughs> so we're here on Kilina Beach in this beautiful summer day filming about the coastal geology of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> It was sunny in the morning. <laughs> Believe it. So now we're in the... Towards the south end of Kalini Beach, a few hundred metres south of White Rock. And here we're going to examine some deposits associated with the last glaciation in Ireland, maybe about 15,000 years ago. So behind us on this cliff, we have deposits that were associated with the glaciation. Some of them were laid down by glaciers, other are associated with running water, fluvial glacial sediments. The sediments directly behind us, here we can see we've got beds of coarse gravel and much finer sandy material. So these are well sorted beds and these almost certainly would have been deposited by running water, possibly rivers, associated with reworking some glacial deposits. And now what we're going to do is we're going to examine some glacial sediments immediately to the south of us and these are much more poorly sorted. So we'll walk down the cliff section a few hundred meters. So now we've just moved a small distance to the south down the cliff section and we're once again examining some of the deposits immediately behind me. And we can see that the character of the deposits has changed somewhat since the last stop. Here the cliff section is made up of a uh, deposits where we've got large coarse boulders of material floating in a much sandier, sandier matrix. This is a glacial till and this is sitting on top of some of the fluvial glacial sands and gravels in this section in Kalini Beach. And these glacial deposits are found all the way along the east coast of Ireland and in many places they're being eroded away by, by marine action and in many cases the slopes are quite unstable and present an engineering problem. What we're going to do now in a minute is we're going to examine what makes up these glacial tills and where they come from. But rather than examine the cliffside itself, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the pebbles on the beach. Because much of the pebbles on Kalini Beach are actually derived from the eroding glacial cliffs. Okay, so here we are still in Kalini Beach. But now what we're going to do is we're going to examine some of the pebbles that make up Kalini Beach. And many of these will have been eroded out of the glacial cliffs immediately behind us. So you can see just by looking at the beach that most of the pebbles here, most of them are grey. And most of these are pebbles of limestone, the dominant rock type in the region of Dublin. So many of these pebbles here, these are bits of limestone. What else can we see? We can also see we've got some orangey quartzites. These would almost certainly be coming from Hoth. We also have quartzite to the south of us in, in Bray Head. But which way would the glaciers have been coming? Well, we can look at some of the more unusual rock types and this helps us say something about where the glaciers were coming from. But what we have is we've got small bits of, of flint. And this flint is coming from, almost certainly from, from chalk. And the nearest chalk to us would be in Northern Ireland. We also have fragments of a, of a very identifiable granite. This is the Ailsa Craig granite in Scotland. It's about 60 million years old and it contains fragments of a blue mineral, rebekite. Very, very characteristic mineral and we're fairly confident that these granite fragments came from Scotland. We have fragments of andalusite schist from the north side of Kalini Beach and volcanic rocks which are very reminiscent of those that you see in Portran and Lambay on the North Dublin coast. But in particular it's the flint and the Ailsa Craig granite from Scotland that suggests that the glaciers were travelling from north to south along the Irish Sea. So this was the East, East Irish ice sheet travelling from Scotland all the way down along the East Irish coast. Second one as well. Was it worth getting wet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the mission is to get to the car. Huh? Yeah. 